Hey, what's happening guys? How are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel and let's discuss this weird laughing Call of Duty Nintendo Switch ridiculous dumb thing. So before I jump into that, I do want to mention that tomorrow, as of the date of this recording right now, will be a new Nintendo Direct. So by the time you guys see this in the morning, you might be expecting me to be dropping a video discussing the Nintendo Direct and some of my predictions and my hype and excitement. And trust me, I am hyped and I am excited. I am super pumped for this Direct. It's September 6th, by the way, which is literally tomorrow. Unfortunately, based on kind of my schedule for recording and editing and then uploading my videos, it's not really going to work out to the point where it makes a lot of sense for me to make a video on that topic. I mean, I record usually at the end of the day when I get home from work, so it's about 7, 7.30 my time. My videos take a while to render and then to upload to YouTube, so long story short, I'm not usually able to get them up until the following morning. I like to post them early in the morning a lot of times, so it would go up, you know, 6.30 on the, the West Coast here, and within less than like 10 hours, the Direct is actually going to happen, so the video and my theories and discussions and stuff wouldn't really be relevant for more than 10 or 12 hours. And so it's like, I don't know, I feel like dropping a video on that for that short amount of time wouldn't make sense, because as soon as the Direct is over, everything I discussed in that video would be rendered irrelevant. Even if I was right on predictions or whatever, it's like that video doesn't have a life after the Nintendo Direct. So, long story short, that's why I'm not discussing it in a video. Of course I will be making a recap. Really hoping we see that Metroid tomorrow in some fashion, but... Regardless, I'll make a recap video, but for now, we're going to talk about this stupid Call of Duty situation. So I'm sure we're all familiar with the ridiculousness of this scenario. I think it's been a little bit overblown, but that being said, I'm going to play into that a little bit by making a video and discussing it, because that's what I want to do on my channel. And I think I have an interesting angle to come at this from. So like I said, I'm sure we've seen this. Uh, Game Informer was conducting an interview. They do like a quick rapid fire question sort of interview with people every once in a while. And they were talking with one of the developers uh, behind Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And one of the questions they asked him was, are you going to bring the game to the Nintendo Switch? And then he basically laughed it off and said, I just make the, make the shoes basically. So go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Any chance Black Ops 4 is coming to Switch? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just make the shoes. So there you go. Pretty straightforward. He's asked the question and he's like, ha, 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 why would you ask such a ridiculous thing? I just make the shoes. Okay, obviously I was reaching a little bit there with my impersonation, but you guys get what I mean. He basically laughed it off and said, hey, that's not my job to make that decision. So what are you asking me? There's been a pretty big reaction to this, and I'm not really surprised. Once I heard about it, I was like, well, here we're going to get another repeat of the, the Respawn Titanfall developer situation from a while ago, where they laughed about bringing the game to the Switch. And I thought it was kind of dumb. I didn't really care too much. Uh, but then I caught the video, and quite a few people have discussed this and featured that clip and, and made discussions about it. You know, some really good videos and really good conversations for sure. And a lot of people, even online, and their reactions are pretty intense. People are mad. They're pretty mad and frustrated about this. And while I think it's not really that big of a deal, I do understand the frustration. I mean, just looking at the at, at the situation's surface value, like I think it's dumb too. It's like, come on, bro, really? Is that is that where you wanted to take this and and what you're trying to say the message you want to get across in response to that question like don't be an idiot of course i do also want to state i'm not actually trying to make it personal to that developer i really don't super care who that guy is he's making a game he's probably really good at his job and that's fine he was just the one answering questions and that was his response to that question it's fine i don't want to go in on that guy specifically but i do think that the reaction both his reaction to the question and then people's reaction is what's interesting here and so here's my here's my take on this okay on, on his, this guy laughing off that question, the idea, the mere idea of Call of Duty coming to a Nintendo platform, coming to the Switch, the hybrid console, and the fact that he laughs it off. Here's the thing that I haven't really seen or heard anyone talk about with, with this thing. This guy was acting. I'm calling it right here and now, and I feel like a lot of you guys maybe even know it or felt it too. But I just hadn't really heard anyone taking that angle when discussing this, so I was like, you know, I want to bring it up on my own video about this. This dude was acting. That was not a real genuine laugh. You guys know that. We saw the video. And weirdly, that's what's most frustrating to me about it. It's not the fact that he laughed. I don't really care anymore about, you know, if developers are interested in the Switch or if they're not. It's like, yes, I want games on the Switch. 
But I, I mostly think it's honestly their bad if they make the mistake of not porting the game. It's like, I'm less worried about missing the game on the Switch because I can buy any game I want for any other platform. That's not going to affect me. But I think in this situation, for example, it's really, it's Treyarch and it's Activision that are missing the boat by not bringing the game to the Switch. They're losing money. It's not about us really losing a game. So it's like, I don't really care about that. You're keeping the game on the other platforms, whatever. That's your bad. You have fun with that. But as far as the fact that he, he laughed that way, to me, it's the fact that he felt he had to act and give us that sort of reaction like he was trying to achieve something by pretending to feel a certain way. Because I don't believe that that was genuinely how he felt or reacted. Like, now that you've heard me talk about how that is acting, let's just watch it again. Any chance Black Ops 4 is coming to Switch? <laughs> Uh, I just make the shoes. You see what I'm saying? I know you saw it, especially after I brought it up. This man is acting, 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 acting. Yo, he's faking it. He is totally faking. And that is bonkers to me. Here's the thing. If his reaction and his laugh felt like his genuine reaction, I would be like, okay, that's just how this guy feels. Maybe that represents all of Activision and Treyarch. Maybe it doesn't. And you know, I would maybe have that discussion instead. And it wouldn't really be about the fact that he laughed. It's like, I don't really care. If it's genuine and sincere, then that's fine, man. Everyone's a different human. We all have different feelings and emotions and reactions to things in our life, and that would have been his. However, the fakeness about it is what really grinds my gears, so to speak. And so what I want to do now is kind of discuss why maybe he would laugh this off. Why would he fake it? Why is that the reaction he wanted people to see? and the reaction that he wanted people to think he felt. Like there would, there would be a reason for him deciding to fake laugh and give people the impression he thought the idea of porting the game to the Switch was funny. So naturally there's a couple of reasons we could believe that he wanted people to believe that his reaction was to laugh at the idea of making Black Ops 4 a port to the Nintendo Switch. The first and the one that I think a lot of us might like the most would be if he's just lying, if he's faking because it is something that is happening behind the scenes and he can't necessarily say it. Activision doesn't want it confirmed and he would clearly know, he talks about, I just make the shoes, man. Yeah, that means you'd be making shoes for the Switch version if you guys were making one. So if it was true and they are planning one and they just aren't ready to talk about it yet, maybe it's supposed to show up in the Nintendo Direct tomorrow, then he clearly would, would want to maybe give a hint that that's going to happen and so he would be hoping in that in that laughing that question off it might be a way of him to kind of give like a wink wink and a nudge nudge to people like hey i can't say it but we sure are making it i could see that being a reason that a scripted laugh moment like that would happen however i will say that i, I don't really believe that you know and i say that as somebody who for the longest time i was singing the song that the next Call of Duty, Black Ops 4 this year, would come to the Switch. All of last year, you guys heard me say it, I thought it was a lock. And now that Black Ops 4 has been revealed and they had their event and the beta has been available for two weekends and they've basically said we are not making it for the Switch, I actually totally believe them. So as much as I'd like to see the game come to the Switch, I don't believe it's going to, and I don't really think that that was the reason he chose to laugh at that question. I don't think he's trying to sort of throw it out there as a secret, like, don't worry guys, it is going to happen, it's coming. I mean, there's a slight chance. I'm not saying it's a lock. I'm just going to say my gut feeling is to believe what Activision has said so far, when they've said that it's not coming to the Switch. It just feels like, you know what, this isn't the year. And like I already said, I think it's Activision's loss and Treyarch's loss because they would just get a lot of success, a lot of sales and money, as well as the goodwill of fans and gamers and of Nintendo fans, which is always a valuable thing to these companies. And they would get that if they if they were willing to say, yes, we are willing to support the, this Nintendo console and bring our brand new, hugely successful and popular Black Ops 4 game over to it just to make you guys happy and give you a game you want to play. They would win in that situation. They're choosing not to have that win by not porting it. But I can only tell you that my, my sincere reaction right now is to believe Activision when they've said it's not going to happen. The other reason he might have given us that laugh is what I already said is really frustrating me is I kind of think he might have just wanted to troll. I mean, that's the only other reason I think you might do something in that situation 
answering a question that people are curious about and then laughing it off as if it doesn't really matter and you couldn't possibly have an answer and why would you even ask me that or care is because you want to troll because they know it would get a reaction and again many people have reacted to it I'm reacting to it as well, but I'm reacting to the fact that it was fake, not the fact that it was a laugh. I don't care if you guys are choosing not to bring the game. I mean, okay, I did say I would like to see it, and that is true, but again, I'm not losing sleep over the fact that Activision might be making a boneheaded decision by not bringing the game to the Switch, so whatever. So, it's a troll. I feel like that's what it is. I mean, if anything, the, the respawn and Titanfall thing that I referenced from last year, where that developer laughed off the idea of bringing Titanfall to the Switch, that got a huge reaction out of people as well. And mostly justifiably. What I'll say about that is, is kind of like what I said in the beginning of this video. The reason that didn't make me mad really is because I, I do think it was at least genuine. It was like some podcast or show, and if I remember right, they were having drinks or something on and so they were getting a little rowdy and just kind of joking with each other and it came off as like a one-off sort of idea. Oh, you think it could maybe run on the upcoming Nintendo Switch? And the guy was like, ha 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 no, that's, oh my god, that's a crazy thought. And so, as dumb as that was, I do think it was how he really felt, so it's like, I don't know, it didn't really like stick in my craw the way other situations like this might. Uh, it's just, it just is what it is. And so, because there was such a reaction, Clearly, this guy being interviewed knew that that was the case. I'm sure he was familiar with that situation. I'm sure he understands the gaming industry, fans of the different consoles, Nintendo fans and Switch fans. They know what's up. Even if they're not developing a lot of high-profile games right now for the console, they know Activision is a smart company. Even if you hate them, they're a smart company. They're business savvy. Same with the developer as high-profile as Treyarch. They understand what will happen. All these developers nowadays, they also understand the YouTube game and the Twitter game and they know what's going to happen when they make a move like this. So he would have done that, A, because it's there. he's keeping the secret of the fact that they really are making the game, or B, he's trolling because he understands how people are going to react. And, and people are going to just, you know, lobby more attention towards Treyarch and towards Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's, it's kind of part of that old adage that basically says, any press is good press, even if it's bad press. Like, that's probably what he was thinking. Like, I, I because I don't believe that Black Ops 4 will come to the Switch right now, I'm, I'm praying to be wrong here, but right now I don't believe it. And so I have to go with this second option. I think he just wanted to troll everyone and get a rise out of everyone, and it worked. And again, it's even working on me, granted for different reasons, I think, than some other people, but... It's working. I mean, I'm pretty, like, frustrated at the fact that he would fake this laugh just to get the rise out of people, and now I feel risen, and so now I'm talking about it. So at the end of the day, if we even focus on the real important issue here, which is, should this high-profile game be coming to the Switch? And I do think yes, even though I said, oh, it matters, it doesn't matter, whatever, like... It, it, is, it is a game that should be coming, and it would be nice to see it coming. I would even like to play it portably on my Switch, like... Yes, if I would, if I was going to want the game, I would buy it on probably my PS4. I'm not going to, by the way, the beta's disappointed me. But if I was going to, sure, I would buy it happily on my PS4 and be totally fine with that. That being said, if I wanted the game and then also a Switch version was available, yeah, that would be the version I would pick because the, not, the better, best version of graphics or whatever, that's fine. But if I can choose my portable Switch version over a slightly better looking version on just the PS4, I would go with that Switch version so I could have either the TV or portable version. I would. And I would like to see games like this and companies like this see success on the Nintendo platform, which happens to be the Switch. So it would be great for myriad reasons for this game to come to the Switch. And I hate that I don't think it's going to because for so long I did think it was. But that's just how I feel, man. And like I said, as soon as I'm proven wrong, if it happens, I will happily say I was wrong and happily say, hey, this is a game now coming to the Switch. This is a great thing for everybody. Even if you're not interested in it, it's good for Nintendo. It's good for the Switch. It's good for Activision and Treyarch. And it's good for the game. And I mean, you know, it's hard to argue with that stuff. So that's how I feel. Pretty weird conundrum. Kind of silly and funny, actually, when you really look at the whole picture. Uh, and the fact that, like I said, it's it's only sillier because we know this guy was just faking. Like, he didn't genuinely find the question funny and surprising. He knew what he was doing. He chose to react that way and give us an acting moment. And he obviously wanted people to feel a certain way or read 
and interpret that a certain way. And in a lot of cases, that's what's happened. And yeah, it's dumb, it's frustrating, but what are you gonna do? It is what it is. Black Ops 4 is gonna come out. It's gonna be a big hit. I was excited until the second weekend of the beta. I will admit, the first weekend, I was pretty jazzed. I was like, you know, this feels great. The gunplay and, and just the, the actual controls was exciting me. I thought it felt really good. I like Black Ops 3 a lot. And so this felt like a slightly better Black Ops 3 as far as the gameplay. But then I realized I don't like how the maps are put together. I don't like all the different modes, knowing there's not really a true campaign. I didn't care about Blackout and, and Battle Royale. So I've decided not to play it. So anyway, whatever. That's how I feel about this whole situation. Discuss below, you guys. I mean, what do you think? Is this a big deal? Is it not a big deal? It, did it make you mad or not mad? Do you believe him or do you think he was totally faking and acting like I do? Whatever you think, cover the spectrum. I want to hear your guys' opinions. All opinions are always welcome here. And that is it for me today. So thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in. This is Rob of Rule 2 Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.